Hello and welcome to a new video on Echo State Neural Networks Volatility and Market Prediction. In this video, we are just going to be using the volatility that we derived uh, in calculation of geometric Brownian motion. Now, what does that mean? If you're not familiar with geometric Brownian motion, it's a really interesting way to um, kind of predict stock prices given the fact that you know a few variables, okay? So we're gonna go over that and we're gonna have some fun, all right? So let's import NumPy as NP, let's import Pandas as PD. Uh, we're going to use our data tick uh, US 100.csv. This is a CSV that I downloaded um, uh, via, well, I shouldn't say downloaded via MetaTrader. I, what I really should say is that um, there is a way to do uh, CSVs in MQL5, and I wrote the data from the back tester into a CSV, and I got every single tick. Um, so we can do these very granular calculations. Okay, so here's the data index. We're going to convert it to some time. Um, we are going to do an OHLC of about 60 minutes, that's one hour. We're going to drop the NAND values. Um, this one's, I think, useless. Uh, RET, we're going to uh, get the uh, PCT underscore change. So in order to do volatility calculations, we have to uh, get the rate of change. Um, we're going to, so we're going to do that calculation. We're going to import, import matplot li, uh, sorry, import matplotlib as dot pi plot as PLT. Um, we're going to do an average calculation, so we need to get the averages, and we're going to do the PCT change on that. We're going to get a rolling mean and a rolling standard deviation. Okay, so this is going to be mu, and this is going to be sigma. Okay, so if you don't know geometric branding motion, hop over to Wikipedia really quick, look at that documentation. You'll see that it requires a mu, a standard, de and a standard deviation, or sigma. Um, then we're going to drop the NAND values. And we're going to go here, and we're going to go past all this junk right here. And here we've defined geometric Brownian motion. Um, I have modified this a bit. Um, so uh, GBM, you have a mu, you have a sigma, you have a price, you have the number of uh, um, iterations you want to calculate, usually about a thousand, thousand for Gaussian. Um, you have the date, uh, the DT. So uh, one is a year. So say, for example, I wanted to do um, one day, I'd have to do one divided by 200, one divided by 252, because there are 252 trading days in a year. Okay, the step, is, this is a solution to a stochastic differential equation. If you guys aren't familiar with that, definitely hop over to Wikipedia. Uh, there's tons of derivations online, tons of cool stuff. This is just the formula, formula Im implemented. Um, Here's the initial price times the step uh, dot cumulative product. And then we get the last uh, value in that list um, or in that, in that array. And that will be our prediction. Okay, we're gonna import pi ESN as ESN. And um, this is uh, CKND on GitHub, credit where credit is due. We have uh, the realized volatility. That's just a double declaration. We're gonna Let's see if we can just can that. Let's just can that. Um, ESN, so we have an echo state neural network, um, input one, output one, reservoir 500, spectral radius 1.6, varsity zero, noise 0 0.001. And then we declare a whole bunch of lists. Hours equals zero, uh, pred vols, list, actual vols, pred price, actual price, uh, prev price, um, and we also have to declare this uh, data one hour ask shift equals uh, this uh, shift up by one. Okay. And so we're going to just loop through. Um, I'm probably not going to go through all this just because it's a little bit cumbersome. But these are the parameters um, from these lists right here. And these are the values that we're going to be uh, using. So you have the realized volatility and realized mu. Uh, you have the close. You have the um, the, the shift close. You have the regular close, and the volatilities are shifted. Now I should say in the last video I didn't shift the volatility, right? 
So it was a one-to-one -one mapping to the volatility. In this case, this is shifted over, so it is actually predicting the next set of volatility. Uh, next instance of volatility, next hour of volatility. Um, keep track of the hours. Uh, we're going to do the echo state learn, so we're going to fit it. We just have to um, take the price down to about 1.5, so we have to natural log the price, minus 8. Uh, take, the vol uh, take the hour volatility, multiply it by 1,000 to bring it up to about 0.9, so the echo state neural network can learn it. And then once we're uh, in our prediction mode, we have to do the same thing with the predicted price, log it, and minus by 8. Then uh, we're going to take the result and divide it by 1,000. And we have the actual volatility uh, and the predicted volatility. And we're going to use them, OK? So here I've just printed out mu, sigma, and hour prices. So what we're going to do is we're going to plug in mu in the G, uh, GBM. Here is the predicted volatility plus the predict, uh, sorry, uh, the, the predvol. So this is the one that shifted over, right? This is going to, um, this, is the, uh, this is the new predicted volatility, right? And we're going to do that plus the predvol, and we're going to square it. So it becomes uh, um, uh, a, a second variable. We have the hour price. We have 1,000 iterations. And as I said, we are going to do it for an hour calculation. So we need to do 1 divided by 24 times 252, because there are 24 hours in a day and 252 trading days in a year. And we're going to add another GBM. We're going to do the mu, the sigma. We're going to minus the sigma squared. We're going to do the hour price, 1,000, same time frame. And then we're going to um, add these two GBMs together and divide by 2. And we uh, just keep uh, track of these. Uh, we just keep track of the uh, prediction, how good it is, all that stuff, by appending to lists. And then we come down here and we just take care of our plotting. Okay, Plotting is uh, not so fun, I think. Um, in this case, it's uh, what we're going to see, the really good picture, is the 24th value to the 148th value. And uh, the prediction is always red, and the actual is always blue. So let's come over here, and let's look at this. So this is the uh, realized volatility. This is the actual volatility. This is the predicted volatility. This is the actual market prices. These are the predicted market prices. As you can tell, there's very little difference. We want to zoom in onto a granular level so we can see whether there is really a strong difference or not. And as you can see, that's pretty freaking close. Like, that's really, really stinking close. Um, so hopefully you enjoyed the video. Uh, like, share, and subscribe.